Hey guys, if there's anyone that understands the importance of having cameras going in your car, it's me. I have caught some crazy things on camera. This is a gentleman dragging a log. But since you're probably not a YouTuber, you don't need a complicated setup. So for the holidays, I'm hooking you guys up with a deal on this Vava dash cam. It's a 1080p HD camera on a swivel mount so you can film any angle outside or inside your car. It records to a micro SD up to 128 gigabytes and it offers an onboard G meter. So if you do a high G maneuver, slam on your brakes or have a crash, it will save that for later. It also comes with a handy remote for if you wanted to take a snapshot of something to remember or check out at a future date. Hit the link in the description. I've got a great deal for you for the holidays. Exclusive price, best on the internet for this Vava dash cam. Morning everybody. Welcome to uh, Big Tahunga Canyon. Really, really neat car today. Um, I suspect some of you won't care about this car at all and other of you will be like me and look at a picture of it and go, yup, that's the one. So uh, this is Michael and thank you for joining nice us. Um, full disclosure, Michael is a dealer, Rev Up Auto Sales, is that what it's called? Rev Up Auto Sports. Rev Up, Rev up Auto Sports, Rev up excuse me. Yeah. Um, in, uh, in Southern California down here. So yeah, maybe he's got an agenda. Who knows? <laughs> this car is out of your I'll drive it. I'll still drive no one buys oh, it. Oh, this thing's out of your inventory, right? Yep. Okay, so this is a Mercedes 380 SLC Euro. So let's break down that nomenclature real yep. quick. 380 is actually an engine I've never driven on. So tell us about this engine. So the American one made 155 horsepower. Uh-huh. Uh, this one is the Japanese spec version, actually, if you see the door tag in there. 3.8 V8, actually. Which is interesting because the American one was a six. Right. Yeah. So much higher compression. Okay. Um, Euro suspension, it does sit lower. It has the Everything's it has the actually right. stock. The car is sitting on you know bigger wheels, obviously. That's, yeah, that's yeah. why they're perfectly tucked under there. It's got Everything a really else is good OEM, stance. Yeah. China blue, is it China called? blue, yeah. And uh, 123,000 kilometers, kilometers on this vehicle. Let's have a go, I'm excited. So uh, my shift lever indicator is P R N D S L. So we'll assume S is sport. <laughs> is it a four? It sounds like a, it's a four-speed auto, right? Three-speed auto. Three-speed auto. What do you do with the sport? <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of gears to not shift no. into. Um, so what draws this car to, to you? I mean, obviously it's got the look. Uh, for me, it's the the craftsmanship. Yeah. Just the build quality. Shutting the door. On the it's freeway, this car stuff. is a blast. I mean, this car at 90, 100 miles an hour is just rock solid. Let's see what happens when I put it in D. Oh, I get the extra gear for D. Yeah. It's so interesting, like, this giant wheel, and it's so close to the dashboard. It's it, it Something about the ergonomics of this thing are kind of strange to me. Yeah. Right. When I got it, I got, it had a different, it had a Momo like Japanese wheel on it, and that was in the trunk. <laughs> so I'm like, that has to go back yeah. on there though, because that's the car look that of the comes car. Out of Japan has a funky <laughs> steering wheel on right. it. Right. It's really, it, it turns in like really. It does once hard, you load it up. It? Yeah. yeah. It rubs a little bit in the back. Man, have you seen the have you seen the ones that these guys turn into rally cars? Oh, they're these awesome. SLC yeah. Rally cars. Yeah. Just picture this SLC as a Group B style. <laughs> rally car making its way through Africa some fender flares <laughs> oh my god it would be the best this motor is very slick smooth yeah I mean truth be told I haven't revved it over four grand yet but with an automatic gearbox that's not really how it's meant to be huh it's a little tough in this gearbox yeah, yeah. the SLC's by the way are the fixed roof hard top so yep. no soft top um, man I gotta be honest with you, if I had seen this car and seen that it was for sale before I bought my SL, I might not have ended up with the uh, with mine. Oh, there's a little of that rear rub. Yeah. What uh, what year is this thing? 81, this is the last year they built the SLC. And then they went to the SEC. Oh, right, yeah. The which which they cool get their own love too. I, I like mean, they the get SECs. a lot of hate, but they get, a, I love them. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really starting to like old Ben too. Yeah, SECs are great. So, and, 
and because it's Euro, you don't have those big, big ass bumpers like no. we have too. No. It's the tucked bumpers. That's part of that look. Yeah. And that the only thing that's different is the someone put on an AMG front valance. That was from like the AMG rally car. Yeah, but it looks good. And then good, they repainted actually. the whole car in China blue. It looks good. I would I would I wouldn't take that off. I no, I think it looks awesome. I like the lights too. The lights complete yeah, the, the look. Absolutely. Man. So when you're if you, someone is gonna buy one of these, what do you want to look out for? What are some of the, the trouble issues with these cars? Uh the rust. Uh -huh. Yeah, the rust is a big big deal. Which I was surprised, this car doesn't, it has rust just around, you know, the trunk lid, stuff like that, but it's actually really clean, which surprised me, because it spent a lot of its life in British Columbia. Oh, that's what I would worry After about After it's imported Japan, yeah. yeah. But it is pretty clean. It's a good cruiser, like, it's, this is, it's not, the, I like the race car, rally car look. Yeah. But like, I don't actually want to take this thing to a track day. No, absolutely I not. I really just want to. I want to cruise in one of those like petrolicious events. Right. In it, you know, drive up to Napa, fill the truck with wine, that kind of thing. PCH type thing. Yeah. I go to Malibu Cars and Coffee a lot with it. Now, I'm opening myself up to criticism here, but it seems that it turns left a little better than it turns right, <laughs> and I'm gonna guess that's because it is. Uh, because of the inside ballast on left-hand corners. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so down the hill, it's got good brakes. The pedal is Pretty nice solid, and tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's a big car. It weighs thirty-seven fifty, I think. Is it? Yeah. This thing weighs exactly the same as the Crown Vic I just drove <laughs> a minute ago, and that is a big car. We're gonna flip around right here. This thing is sweet though. I, I totally get this. And it's such a it's such a wow, look how many times I can turn the wheel! <laughs> Whoa! There is that's mega lock what to is lock. like 70 turns lock to lock. <laughs> Alright, flat. Let's see what she's got. Come on, JDM V8 thing. So you could not you you could never get uh, a 500 SLC, right? I don't no. think you could. Uh, no, I don't think so. That was later, yeah. They only went to 450. The oh, 500 four. SLC was the rally one, only in Europe. Right, right. With the rubber yeah. spoiler, yeah. Someone's got to build that here. Absolutely. Or pull one of those 55 drivetrains out of something. I wonder how difficult the swap would be in one of these. I don't know. It, it I'm more a, of a Beamer guy. This is my first Benz. So, yeah. I'm a little down on a little down on power going up the hill. Yeah. Like, oh, because I'm sport. in D. Yeah, you're now, in D. Now I just went back to S. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same. It was the same. It's it's really about the the styling and the, it is. And the look. And also, I mean, the greenhouse is so nice. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's just a place to be and cruise with your arm up on the window and some tunes. And I've never noticed that the gills in the rear windows are actually just over glass. Yeah, they're just over glass. I didn't realize you could straight see out of yeah. them. That's cool. And actually, if if we were slightly less gangster leaned in the front, I think you could put actual passengers in the back I too. think so too, absolutely. I think this could be a, tr a two plus two in the truest sense of the word. Not like my Aston Martin, where it's a two plus backpack, even though that's yeah. there are seat belts there. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Are these, does the SLC have more leg room and stuff? It does. It's, it is a little bit longer than right. the SL. Right. So it's the R107, which is the Roadster, and the C107. Okay. This was stretched, I believe, by four inches. If I'm okay, see, that makes sense, because I remember the last one of these SLs I drove. I didn't fit in it so good. So if you're over six feet tall, the SLC is probably the one for you. Did your knee hit, like, Yeah, my arm? knees were, like, How's on your the knee dashboard. There? It's fine, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's good. I like actually. I really like this driving position for for cruising. Like is this car point. bigger than your current SL that you just bought? No. No. Uh, uh, in terms of what seat room? Seat room, yeah. Just like driving. Uh, about the same. My, my SL may be a little. The second generation, the the facelift, the post facelift, uh -huh. one two nines like mine is. Mine's an 01. Um, have a little bit extra room. The the first pre facelift one two nines right. um, are tight, but this SLC is very very comfy, and I love the cloth. This the houndstooth, the houndstooth yeah. is dope. 
very nice. Someone, the look how taut everything still. I mean, it's still everything's still yeah, sharp no. and. Yeah, I mean, this car has. Uh, other than the one crack on the dash here. Yeah, and this, I heard, is the easiest color to crack, this blue. The, the blue. dye they used, yeah, in the sun, so. All right. Well, it's fixable. To, yeah. But this isn't, I mean, this car is like, where I put this car is like from four or five feet away, it's spectacular. Yeah. If you really start microscoping it, you can find little evidence of wear here and there. Absolutely. But as a pull-up to a parking space, it's yeah. a wow. Yeah. That's, I mean, when I saw you drive up this morning, <laughs> I said fashionably out, late. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I said out loud to the other guys. I was like, "Wow!" And I even said to you, "The car's so pretty. I don't care if you're late," which is the first, <laughs> the first time I have ever not cared. I do feel obligated to mention that I have been on the floorboard for about forty-five seconds. <laughs> straight, straight floorboard. Yeah, uphills is not its thing. Yeah, the Swiss mountain it's passes. A yeah, I have to go to L. Let's go to L. It likes the flat interstates. There we go. There we go. Now we're You got five grand now? Five, now I'm at 4,700. What are you doing? Yeah! And it's trying. to us. It's old Good school. Good old Mercedes transmission. It is old school. It's cool, though. I, I'm, I, I mean, look. As a classic cruiser, yeah. 100%. I get it. Look how many times I can turn the wheel to get this lot. <laughs> like, you understand why those Japanese guys put the tiny little wheel Oh, on. absolutely, yeah. But, but you have to put it back. Oh, man. All right. So, here's the money The money question. What does the name of the dealer again? Rev Up Auto Sports. Rev up, what does Rev Up Auto Sports want for this 380 SLC Euro? 20 grand. 20 grand. I think that's reasonable. It's not bad. Honestly, I mean... If you just if you if you nickel and dime every little mm -hmm. thing, it's a driver quality car. But from five feet away, yeah, this thing would win car shows. It's fire. Absolutely, it's yeah. a very very cool little car and a, and a unique opportunity. And it's cool you can get out and drive it. You know, yeah. it's not like a museum piece. No, with, no, no. You know, and Three thousand miles on it. And... No, and it's one of those cars where guys like me look at them and go, God, that that I. Something about that looks, yeah. looks right. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, I appreciate Matt. I appreciate your time. It. I'll put the the link to the 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 the, the shop in the description cool. for you. If you're interested in uh, in checking out their inventory, go have a look. And of course, thank you for watching our little program here. And we will see you later. Bye.